Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm doing a video on how to open a Lumero um, from VMF. I have my cell phone hooked up to a box because I don't understand, so apologies for the poor quality of the angle. At the moment, that works, but we'll see. First thing you have to do is open here. What's good about this machine is you can actually um, keep it turned on, although I don't recommend it for safety reasons, uh, you could, in theory, open this top lid and keep the machine on. If In case you have a leak, you, you might be able to watch it in action inside to figure out what's actually leaking. A lot of machines, it's too dangerous to do that. In this case, it's not all that dangerous as long as you don't actually reach your fingers inside while it's plugged in. Here you just uh, have a bunch of tubes. This is the plate that holds all the um, electronics for the two buttons, two screws there. Uh, the first thing I would do is take out this. Always photograph everything. With these, after you photographed it, not before you photographed it, you can take these out. There's a little tab on each one that lets you slide it out easily. There's no reason to pull hard. The tab is right at, near the top of the metal part. Sometimes it's hard to find, especially because it's covered in this rubber. What I'll do, I'm going to pause the video, but I'm going to remove all these wires. There are two here. There are actually three terminals. They're only connected to the first two, black and white. Then back here, you have three terminals along here, and it is black and blue. And down here, you have black and red. Pausing the video. Next thing you want to do is see this. T coupling or whatever you call that there's a tube going you see that going towards the brew head you want to remove that tube by pulling out that pin sorry hold on I can't do this while holding the phone so now it's disconnected. The pin you see is there. Don't lose it. Uh, in, in between the tube and the hole that it goes inside, um, there is a rubber O-ring. You can see it right there. If that comes out, you need to find it. Actually, one of the most common reasons for leakage is someone tries to repair their own machine and they forget to uh, put that O-ring back in. 
sometimes it pops out. The easiest way to put it back in is actually to attach it to the, the end of this tube and then push that all the way in here. Uh, you'll see each tube has this metal metal ring. That ring has to go in past this slot so that the pin can go over it. And that stops the metal ring from coming back out. So you actually have to push it in quite far. So the next thing to do is to remove this, this, this. Yeah, and I don't know what size that is, but it's the only screw that's not a cross style. Uh, that one is a... Um, some sort of star shape, maybe T2 or something. I don't know. Then remove that, maybe with the tip of something thin, like a thin knife or a thin screwdriver. You just pop this rubber cap out and remove that screw. I'll pause the video again. So that's out. That just holds the whole assembly tight. There's a, you can't see it maybe, but there's this black beam here and that just screws into this side so that the whole thing feels more solid. There's less movement or sound when touching the machine. I think that's all it does. It just provides stability. Now this can come out. Be careful. You have to remove this here. I think I can do it with there. You just grab it by the um, as close as you can to this part, like that, and pull out, pull straight out. Put that to the side, and next you want to remove this screw. The screw holds the um, steam steam assembly to this center beam. Our goal is to remove this entire top case. We do have to go under the machine next. To be honest, maybe you could, I don't know if you could start underneath, but I always start on top. Anyway, remove that. So you can see I removed that. Now, we're almost ready to work on the bottom to, to allow us to remove this whole assembly. Uh, if you see this pressure hose and this pressure hose create a closed connection, which means when we pull the whole thing up, this bar will get stuck right here so what we need to do is just remove one of these you could remove that but it's pretty deep down in there by the way this machine had this piece broken where the where this tube connects this piece was completely uh, eaten through over time from from lime deposit or um, lime scale and so if you need that piece, I, f I had to look a long time on the internet for it, but I eventually found it. So if you do need that piece, let me know. I also should mention that Lumero offers almost no internet advice on finding parts. The good news is almost everything in here, if not everything, is from DeLonghi. They just don't tell you that. Um, okay, so we need to remove one of these so that this opens up. So you can see I removed that from here. The pin is there. And um, again, make sure you have that O-ring in there. And if you don't, go find it. Okay, so that should be all you need to do for the top. 
and I'm now going to go to the bottom. So I've put a rag under here just to avoid scratches, also to protect the table. Um, this normally is not sticking out. That's actually a problem that I was having. There was water leakage and the nice LED lighting system that's inside down here uh, was flickering and almost completely burnt out. So last night I removed it. Here's what it looks like. I do not think you can get this replaced, but maybe if I can, just let me know. Um, there it is. And so these wires are normally inside the machine and uh, connect right there. See the two holes? So on your machine, these should not be sticking out. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Where's my screwdriver? I'm going to remove one, two, three, four. You're going to open this plate, which is a fifth screw, although this is little. There are six big screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the little one to remove the black plate, which I've already removed. That black plate, it has a purpose. The purpose is to be able to get to that screw and that screw. Um, I'll show you a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these six screws and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now as I said, we need to access that screw way down there and that screw way down there. Um, those two hold a plate which keeps the, um, the, the water valve or whatever, whatever you call it, the thing that connects to the tank. Those two screws hold that piece here. Wait, um, I don't know what it's called you know the tank goes in here there's a plate that holds this whole assembly in that's what we're removing that's next I'll do that and come back now if you have um, a strong magnetic tip on your screwdriver then you can easily pull those screws out but they're now loose but I can't get them so I take one of these neo magnets on a string and there it is okay so the whole assembly should come off now You want to be careful that when you pull up on everything that these all those wires don't get caught. Now one little tip. Do you see how all these wires came all the way up to the well it's really the from from the front of the machine. They came up this side of the machine. So what I recommend is when you're ready to, to reassemble tie all this to a long string and pull the string up through here and let it hang so that when you put this back on you can pull all the wires up through otherwise you'll never get at them and you can imagine if I'm putting this back on for reassembly, 
it's just going to push all these wires down lower and you're going to have a headache. So, just a minute. Okay, so you remember the two screws that were deep inside, that, that was for this. Um, for some reason that screw wouldn't come out. I'll get that out in a minute. You can also see these two tubes. I don't know how they come when you first buy the machine. I put these these uh, zip ties on the tubes when I reassembled them to remove these, remove any zip ties, and then with a long pliers, just gently grab the tube here. Don't pull down here. Big mistake. It'll rip. You want to hold here, up here, and just gently pull down and it'll come off. So you definitely have to remove them. This is the piece that I had to replace. Again, let me know if you need to find one. The strange thing was, it was not labeled as a part for um, for Lumero. It had a really unusual name, which made it hard to find. I would imagine if you search through a DeLonghi um, ex, um, replacement part website, you might find it quicker than me. But anyway, um, that that piece is actually quite a bit longer and it goes down into here, uh, which is the heater. Here you can see the pump. If you need to get down in here for the flow meter, you would need to remove this screw right there. This screw here. This I just made myself. I don't know, I bought this machine used and from, in my opinion, this looks like it shouldn't be open. Maybe someone could tell me if that's correct. Um, plus there was a bit of water damage in there. So I just took a cheap uh, piece of plastic and cut it and stuck it in there just to protect it from water a little bit. Um, if you need to replace this tube holder, I'm sure there's a more official name for that, but that's what I call it. Um, you're gonna have to remove this plate and under that you'll see the, whatever, heater unit, water heater unit. Um, here are two more screws, I think there's one on the other side, it's pretty self-explanatory and then you can attach this piece to that and then reattach the cap. Um, the flow meter is, let's see if we can see it, no, the flow meter I think is right under here. So again, to remove this whole unit from here, you just remove, I think it's three screws. Um, another tip, whenever you see the plastic turning sort of orange, yellow, brown, there's a good chance it'll break at some point in the next year of if you're using the machine regularly. So if you want, go ahead and replace the part right away. Again, you're probably better off looking for DeLonghi. Although on certain websites, if you type in Lumero, um, if the website specializes in espresso machine parts, you, know, you might find it. I think the website I used was called ersatzteile24.de, a German website. 
and you can type in Lumero and they have quite a few parts. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to show. Um, I do not recommend trying to repair the LED strip that I took out because you can't find, well, I challenge you to find this, this custom LED strip and it's sort of hard plastic and it slides, it fits right in between this black part and this clear part. Um, I may find a solution, I may not. I'm not a, an electronics guy, so. And actually, to prove that I'm not an electronics guy, remember those the white and the red wire for the LED strip? I, uh, by mistake, connected, um, let them touch the steel base of the whole unit, and I blew a fuse, and now the machine is not working. So. I don't know what I'm going to do, but hopefully this video helps you if you have a Lumero that needs to be repaired. If you have questions, send me a message.